In this tutorial, we will investigate how the alpha helix is defined in terms of its hydrogen bonding pattern. In this image, I've colored five amino acid residues so that they can be differentiated based on color. The N-terminal amino acid is pink, then the next is orange, and the last three are yellow, green, and blue. If we name the first amino acid I, then the following amino acid would be called I plus one because it occupies a position in the sequence one residue towards the C-terminus. The next amino acid would be called I plus two, then I plus three, and finally I plus four. Because of the geometry of the alpha helix, there is a special relationship between I and I plus four. The blue I plus four residue donates its hydrogen through a hydrogen bond to the carbonyl oxygen of the pink I residue. Termed I plus four to I, this is the defining hydrogen bonding pattern of the alpha helix. No matter which amino acid we begin counting with, this I plus four to I hydrogen bonding pattern will always exist. Another important observation is that hydrogen bonds occur every 3.6 amino acids, or to be more exact, every three and two thirds amino acids. If we divide each amino acid into thirds, we'll notice that the last third of the pink amino acid, I, the carbonyl, is involved in the hydrogen bond, and the first third of the blue amino acid, I plus four, the nitrogen hydrogen, is involved in the hydrogen bond. Since there are three full amino acids between I and I plus four, we'll say that the total number of amino acids between the hydrogen bond in the alpha helix is three and two thirds, or about 3.6. We'll see later that this number is important in giving the alpha helix a precise definition. In a typical alpha helix rich protein, this I plus four to I hydrogen bonding pattern can be repeated hundreds of times, such as in this hemoglobin monomer. The cumulative effect of hydrogen bonding is a major force behind protein folding and provides the rigid architecture on which the protein's function depends. Another way to define the alpha helix is in terms of the number of atoms required to complete a hydrogen bond. Here, each atom between the hydrogen bonding atoms is a different color. If we strip away the helix cartoon, we can see that there are 13 atoms between the hydrogen bond, including the oxygen and the hydrogen. This shows us that a hydrogen bond actually forms a 13-membered ring. In fact, the formal name of the alpha helix 3.6 13 helix includes this concept. The helix is 3.6 because that's the number of residues it takes to complete one helical rotation. And it's 13 because the hydrogen bond enables the formation of a 13 membered ring. I hope that this lesson gave you a better understanding of the precise definition of an alpha helix and its hydrogen bonding pattern.